think of it not as a sports car, but as a pickup truck. One that flies and can take off and land almost anywhere with a few hundred meters of space. It's hard to imagine a more versatile aircraft than Canada's Twin Otter. Just ask a pilot. Everybody loves this airplane. It's one of these cult airplanes where uh, you'll find a lot of pilots that have started to fly the Twin Otter and uh, they just want to fly a Twin Otter and, and fly nothing else. But being rugged and popular didn't stop the Twin Otter from going out of production in 1988. It simply didn't fit the business plan at Boeing, which owned the company at the time. Enter Viking Air, an aircraft parts maker from Western Canada that bought the original designs and started making Twin Otters again in 2008. They've sold 80 planes so far and are producing a new one every 10 days. I've been to about almost every country in the world and uh, we're placing aircraft in North Africa, we're placing aircraft in Asia today as we speak. Uh, we have aircraft going into the Middle East, the one behind us is going into the UAE. Uh, so the aircraft is covering the entire spectrum. And the other beauty of the aircraft is, remember, one aircraft does all those jobs. Conceived as a way to move Canadians through their often harsh landscape, the Twin Otter is now the utility aircraft of choice from the Maldives to Peru, from the Argentine Antarctic Naval Base to the Himalayas of Nepal. But at its heart, say the new manufacturers, it's really all about Canada. It's a very Canadian airplane. You know, we would never have uh, been able to sell to some of the customers that we were talking to early on uh, without that kind of recognition of, of a great Canadian airplane. With more than 800 aircraft produced since the 1960s, this is a plane that will be carrying people and goods around the world for decades to come. The Twin Otter adds new meaning to the phrase, ahead of its time. It first flew half a century ago, and now the world is rediscovering this remarkable aircraft that seems able to take off, fly, and land in almost any conditions. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Victoria.